everyone. Uh, thanks for your presence today. Uh, the purpose of this study was to discover a blood-brain barrier shuttle peptide. So what is blood-brain barrier? Blood-brain barrier is a natural barrier which is present in our brain and its main function is to prevent the entry of uh, unwanted and harmful substances into the brain and which by which it makes our brain healthy and happy. So all good, right? So what is the problem? The problem arises when our brain gets some infection or some disease. And when we try to give some medicines, then again this blood-brain barrier comes into the picture and prevent the, the entry of drug into the brain and, key, and make the treatment very difficult. And that is why some of the small infections can become a life-threatening if it will reach to the uh, brain. So, and uh, moreover, the 98% of the drugs available cannot cross this blood-brain barrier. So we decided to work in this area. So this blood-brain barrier is actually present in the blood vessels present in our brain, specifically in the walls of that blood vessels. So we, uh, we, we studied in depth about that, how the rear, what is the arrangement present there in the wall which makes it like this. So we came to know that there is a kind of lockup arrangement which makes all the doors shut and keep the things not get into the brain. So we developed a, a model which resembles the, the properties of that vessel's wall. And then we used phage, uh, peptide phage library, which is actually a kind of, you can, think, uh, you can think about a bunch of thousands of different keys, which has different uh, combinations. So we wanted to check that, we wanted to get a perfect key, which can open that particular locks present in their wall. So we used that pool of uh, uh, keys and screened them against our five step screening procedure, which is comprised of a model which we prepared and also the animals. So finally we got a, a, a couple of keys which can open that lock and that key actually a peptide. Peptide is a kind of small chemical compound which is very resembled to the things present in our body. So now we wanted to check that how efficient it is. So we attached a dye or a coloring agent with that peptide sequence and uh, then we made two groups. Uh, in one group of animals we injected just dye that is just coloring agent and another one we uh, in, uh, we injected dye which is, which is attached with the peptide sequence. Then you can see the, the, the organs we recovered from the animals and the presence of red color shows the presence of dye and if you can see the dye only case, the circled one is the brain and there is no red color that means no dye entered there but in case of dye peptide you can see a clear red color presence which shows the presence of, uh, we, which, which shows that we successfully uh, delivered the die into the brain with the help of our peptides. That's why we called it a shuttle peptide, shuttle to the brain. Thank you so much.